So our daughter's name is Mila Virginia Makovitz. Uh, she was born on November 5th, 2010. When I think about Mila as an infant, I think about smiles and laughter and health and... Half an hour after she was born, she was strong enough to hold on to my finger and I could almost pick her up off the bed. When Mila was a toddler, she was a climber, she was a hiker, she was a runner. <laughs> How old are you, Mila? <laughs> Here's our sugar high daughter. Slide, slide, slide. <laughs> Very physical, always love to ride a strider. Nice, bug. Play in the snow, go sledding. I'm coming. <laughs> We noticed that Mila was getting stuck on her words. She would say, Mommy, Mommy, I have to. Mommy, I have to, and not be able to continue. And then suddenly, around three years old, we started noticing that her feet were slightly unturned and she was walking strangely. And then at four years old, we noticed that she pulled books in close. And then around five years old, Mila's feet started moving really quickly in um, this strange pit-pattering way. And then she would fall back on her butt. And every time she stood up, she would fall back and stand up and fall back. You know, we took her around to different doctors who never could really kind of figure out what was going on with her. And then time passes, and then in just one month, everything can change. She could no longer see anything. What's brought her so much happiness is playing with her toys and her looking at her books and watching TV and playing with her brother and suddenly it looked like she could no longer play with anything. It's so hard to see such a outgoing little girl not be able to play with other kids and not be able to play with toys and not be able to watch Elmo anymore. Children with Batten disease are destined to lose their vision, their ability to walk, their ability to talk. They lose their ability to swallow, and they eventually become bedridden. And they don't usually live until um, much after 10, 11, 12 years old. It's uh, such a rare disease that all the doctors that you see have never experienced it before. was born, it was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> it gave my life purpose, and I just asked myself all the time, how is it possible that we have such a wonderful life? And then we had our son. Aslan, he's uh, two and a half, but uh, you know, he doesn't show any sign of being affected, but we know that uh, there is a chance that he is. The night before we took Mila into the hospital, he looked at me at the dinner table and said, Mommy, is Mila gonna be okay? Our beautiful family and life seems like it's slipping away every day. Her smile and her laughter and her spirit is the same. If we want to save Mila's life and the life of other children who are suffering from this horrible disease, we need to raise $4 million right now to get a clinical trial up and running. We want to do everything that we can to stop other families from experiencing the pain that we're going through right now. Please, please don't take my sunshine away. Oh.